Hi guys, Unity 4 came out the other day and I finally got a bit of a chance to play with it and the UI has changed a little bit for Mechanim so I'm just going to make a quick tutorial on the on how to set stuff up in Mechanim just because it's a little bit different from the other videos that are out there. There isn't a massive change, you can figure most of it out but I thought I'd just do this anyway. I'm going to be using a character that I've been working on He's just a soldier type character, and this is just a FBX with some textures. And I haven't set anything up on this yet, and so we'll just have a quick look at how things have changed. The rigging data is in this little tab here. Before it used to be under the model tab down here, just above the apply button, but I guess they've moved that to a separate area. You'll see an FBX starts off with a generic animation type and a no root node. Anyway, what we want to do is just change that to humanoid, if it's a humanoid. And then before we do anything else, we have to apply that. And then that takes a little while while it figures out some stuff. And then I'm just going to jump into configure and then we can see whether it's been set up properly. And we can see it looks pretty decent. But when we zoom in and out it goes really, really far. And the reason for that is that we haven't changed the import scale. So I'll just hit done to escape out of that and go back to the model and I'll change the scale factor to 1. This will depend on your project what scale factor you use. But the good thing about changing the scale factor there is that this will actually screw up my character and give me a chance to actually fix something so I can show you what you need to do if, if something goes wrong when you've imported your characters. So I'll just go back to the Rig tab and hit Configure. And we can see our character's all out of whack because his bones have all been scaled different to the mesh. And we'll just simply fix that by doing Pose Reset. And the pose my character was in was fairly close to a T-pose, but it's not an exact T-pose. I'll just enlarge this. And so we change, we enforce the T-pose from there, and then that looks pretty good. If that doesn't fix your character, then what you could also do is go sample bind pose, and then enforce T-pose, and that normally works. But for me, that's changed this root bone a little bit, so what I'm going to do is just reset and then enforce. But you just basically play around with those options until you've found out something which works for you. And so I'm pretty happy with that, with the way it looks now. So I'll just hit apply and wait for a little while while that fixes, or while that re-imports everything and applies it. And when that's ready, I'll jump into the muscles tab. And just quickly test that it's looking okay. This isn't a big deal, it's just having a quick look. And then hit done, because we're fairly happy with that at the moment. And so from there we go into the animations tab. This is fairly similar to the way it was before in the beta, but I'll just go over it anyway. So one thing that's changed from the beta is it seems to have imported all the clips by default. In the beta you had to actually bring in all these clips. So I suppose it's done a little bit of extra work for you. And then if you're playing with these, I found with this one anyway, when I was trying to change the things on it, because um, this is all hand animated so the animation might be a little bit dodgy on him, but when I was when I was trying to play with this I couldn't change the 
toggles and then I notice this thing above it where I have to clamp the range so if you ever have that issue just hit the clamp range button and then you can move your tabs in and out so yeah while we're moving the tabs in and out you can see all these graphs appear and they're basically showing us how close relative to the other end the synchronization is so we can see here especially with the graph that appears the the second from the bottom or the third from the top we can see that's got a pretty drastic difference so we can use that to fairly clearly tell where the loops sync up and then we can just press the play button I'll do that for a different animation one that's actually moving probably this one again I just clamp the range so that I can actually do something with it and then I think I'll start somewhere around frame 20 ish and it seems to sync up around there just from looking at the curves so I'll just play that and see how close it is uh, it's not quite quite good maybe that might be a little bit better still a little bit dodgy but you can roughly see the process that you need to take I'll just hit the loop pose button and that'll just smooth it out a little bit and there's probably a, a little bit of rotation change in there so I'll also bake the rotation in just so that he keeps heading in the direction that he's supposed to be facing so that looks pretty good I'll just hit apply and that's enough for now when that's finished doing its thing I'll just quickly set him up so he's inside of the game I've just got an empty scene here I won't really bother dropping him into an actual scene so I'll just drop him on stage he'll need an animator controller <coughs> To make an animated controller you just right click create animated controller I'll just call him soul soldier controller and I will on the so on the character on screen you just drop that into its animated component and bring up the animator window. If the animator window isn't there then you just go in the windows drop down select the animator tab and that'll bring it up. So at the moment there's no state. We basically just go into the soldier and I was playing with the walk V2 so I just drag and drop that on. If it highlights orange then that means it's the default and if I hit play then hopefully he should just start walking And there we go. That's the basics of how to get an animation into on a character from Mechanim. And I'll also just do one other thing. I will do the same thing with this character is just uh, something really quickly that I rigged up that has one of the Carnegie Mellon University animations on him. This one's actually a nursery rhyme. I think it's uh, the teapot song. As you can see, he's doing a bit of a teapot type thing. So I'll just take a quick. Actually, he's probably not even rigged yet. I'll just go to the rig. Yeah, he's not rigged, so I'll just change him to humanoid. I'll hit apply. and then I'll hit configure and just save the scene and this guy seems to have come in fairly well I'll just check out his muscles 
Yeah, that's good enough. And jump over to his animation. I'll get this and I'll just make it so that there's a bit of a loop. Like I'm only just looking at the curves just to find a point where they're all kind of as close to the top as possible. And I'll just hit the loop pose and I'm sure that'll do a fairly decent job. This is just a looped idle animation and as you can see if we tick the loop pose button then he nicely brings his arms down towards the end and I shall just apply that, wait a little bit more and now that that's done I can drag that out of the library onto my animator controller and I'll just right click that and set that as the default and if I hit play then our character should now be doing that idle animation. So there we go. That's the rough basics of how to do the mechanism stuff in Unity 4 so you're up to date with how the UI works. It's all it's all fairly self-explanatory, I think. I think they've done a fairly good job. But let me know if you have any questions or comments or so on. Thanks for watching, guys.